Want to see some spooky science? Carving pumpkins is one fun but messy activity. I love carving cute faces into my pumpkin, but this year my jack-o'-lantern is looking a little green. I think he ate too much candy. Let's see if we can make him feel a little better. Ew, Jack, are you all right? To make your own puking pumpkin, mix baking soda with green food coloring, add a squirt of soap, and pour in some vinegar. This acid and base chemical reaction will add tons of fun to your spooky science season. Today on Spooky Science, we're making flying teabag ghosts. Whoa! To make your own flying ghost, all you need is a tea bag. First cut and empty your tea bag. Next, draw on your spooky face. Set on a table away from flammable objects and have a grown-up help you light the top. Whoa! When you light the top on fire, the air inside gets warmer. Warm air is less dense than cold air, so it rises. Have fun making your own spying tea bag ghost and have fun learning. Bye! Today on Spooky Size with D, we're making Freaky Flyer Friction Climbers. You'll need a paper creature, two pieces of straw, a long piece of yarn, tape and scissors. First cut out your creature. Next tape the straws parallel to each other on the back. Now thread the ends of your yarn through your straws. Hang the looped end of your string on a hook. Now for the fun part. Pull your strings out to the side back and forth and watch it fly. But how does it work? When you pull outward on the strings it creates friction between the straw and the strings helping it climb. When you bring the strings together, there's less friction, causing it to fall. Try it at home and have fun learning. Bye!